exciting steps we're making and join hundreds in celebrating the progress we're making. Running this October 22nd to 24th at the Bombers of Kenya. Register to be a partner or participant today before time. Out. Log on to www.connected.go.ke. The Connected 2018 Technology Conference. Preserving our culture, pioneering technology. This is KTN News. Think of your son. You got a healthy baby boy. The pregnancy and his birth was normal, but there may be something genetic that you may not be aware of. It is a genetic inheritance that affects his muscles. Slowly, he'll not be able to walk. He'll not be able to support himself. Worldwide, this genetic disorder affects one in 3,500 boys, and the unfortunate bit is that it has no cure. Worse still, in Kenya, if these boys are lucky, they will live only up to their teenage years. These parents and these children do not have to imagine that. My son Feni Dad Motugi Njuguna is now 14 years. He turned 14 years in August. He's here. He's a candidate. Mtoto anaitwa Caleb Gitau. Alimaliza June 13 years. I'm not one boy. Mama Arthur. How old is he now? Eight. Jina langu ni Pitakongo Ngugi. Mimi naitwa Pantas Kiremi. Ninatoka Meru. Njuu ya kijana yangu ambaye anaitwa Po Mugendi. Imagine your son has a problem which is incurable, it's something not easy. Duchenne's muscular dystrophy is a group of diseases that affect muscles, uh, causing them to become weak and to become thin, progressively from birth onwards. Around five years or so, when he, he stands, he could push the right leg in front. That's something which I noticed. I thought it was his way of, you know, standing. Did you notice? Actually, like four, four years, when he started work, he used, as he was small, alikuwa anangingana sana kutembea. Lakini nilikuwa na notice, ni kama kona shi, na shida, because he, he was not walking like others. But mi nilikuwa nafikilia, maybe ni viatu na mvalisha nzitu. Kali balizaliwa tu kawaida, bila mtoto wegina huzaliwa, na jikitu wabao niliona tofauti kuwake, alicherewa, mabo yake yote ilicherewa. Kama ni kutebea, alitebea kiwa na two years. Ya piri, Caleb ali ata meno kutoka ilicherewa, kila kitu yake ilikuwa inacherewa. Na mwisho ya liyaza kusimama pole pole, akiwa na two years na kanza kutebea. Kitu wabao nilinutis kuwake ni kutebea pole pole. Alikuwa, yani na mabo yake kufanya pole pole. Aku akiweza kutebea, na wakati niliona hivyo, Nikaendelea kumpatia matibabu kumpeleka hospitali akawa kama ameruhisa ile hali yake ya mwili alipokuwa 2 years na ni notice mguu yake alikuwa anatembea kama anajivuta I remember our father in law telling us that we are buying oversized clothes for him because he could walk funnily then he could lift his like trouser or short with his hands he didn't grow like other children because if you compare him with the firstborn and the lastborn, Ali grow like he very weak and tiny. Na nikajua umtoto kuna shida, but siko na fikilia ni ya muscular dystrophy. Out of our three boys, the second born in the middle, he was actually the heaviest upon birth. It was like almost four kilos. He used to play football, he used to run like other kids. There was nothing which was abnormal with our son until now the age of seven years, seven years, eight years thereabout. Akiwa nursery school, nakubuka yapo dio shida ya ata ya shule ilianza ju walimu walikuwa na chapa sana. Nakunyimu wa lunch ju kazi ile kazi ya nafaa kumaliza 
hamalizi hata itafika jioni bila hata kumaliza hiyo kazi nilikuwa naona kama ni uvivu mtoto wako nao hata mimi sikujua ni shida yako nayo wakati alifika ndarasa la tano, ndio alianza maneno tena ile magonjo ya karundi sasa wakati alikuwa anaenda shule akawa anaenda mmoja ukisimama na mna hii hawezi weka hawezi kanyanga chini sawa sawa sasa nikaona wakati anaenda shule yeye anachelewa na kufika shule sasa ndio mwalimu mkuu wa shule aliniita akaniambia huyu mtoto wako wako na shinda mwili sasa ndio niligundua vile alikuwa akiwa mtoto mdogo alikuwa na protruding stomach na ukimwangalia vizuri ukimuosha hizi bavu zini kama zilikuwa zina zinatoka nje mimi nilinotice kitabu sana kwa ukimini nilikuwa nafikiria in fact nilikuwa nafikiria ni tubu ya shida but nikakuja kulia la sie tubu ilikuwa na shida sababu nilinotice ameanza kujikafu tumbo imekuwa kubwa na kifua kuna vile ilikuwa inakaa kabla hajafika miaka saba, nilianza kuona hii uh, side huku kumeanza kufura kuna kuna vile nilianza kuona kume kumefura na ninakumbuka siku moja mwalimu akiwa amewapeleka ame kwa uwaja kucheza ndio akakuja akaniambia huyu mtoto ni kama ako na shida na akaniambia huyu nini pengine huyu mtoto kuna shida maana akisquat mtoto waki, sana sana watoto wengi wale wako na hiyo hiyo condition wakisquat kusimama wana struggle sana mnaweza kuwa mnatebea unaona mtoto hata bila kugonga na kitu chochote anaaguka mm. sasa zingine watoto wanamchezea shule Uki, ukimguza tu mguu hapa nyuma tu mtoto anaaguka na kalia miguu mm. paka kuna mahali hapa kwa miguu alikuwa na kidoda ambayo haikuwa inapona maana akiaguka anaagukia hiyo miguu nimpeleka mahali shule private school so vile nimpeleka mwanjua teachers hawaelewi watoto wenye wako na condition flani flani so wakati ni noti shida yake alikuwa anaanguka kwa shule njoo alikuwa na tip tu so vile ni notice kuna siku moja mwalimu alisukumanisha huyo mtoto akaanguka so hiyo iliniweka uchungu mwingi sana njoo nilienda shule nikaongea na mwenye shule so hiyo mwalimu akakata akasema akusukuma huyo mtoto sasa nyumbani mimi siwezi nikatoka pale kwa sababu asubuhi lazima nimweke nje na kutoka kwa, kwa kitanda ni mimi ni muamushe eh nikimwambia nywe chai nimichukue nimweke nje sasa akiwa nje kama wakati ule kuna mvua mimi usiwezi nikatoka karibu kwa sababu akiwa hapo hata mvua ikinyesha naweza katoka pale atanyeshewa sasa mimi siwezi kutoka hapo niende mbali hata sasa leo niko Nairobi nitafuta mtu wa kumchunga a child is not able to stand normally they have to bend bend forward then uh, climb on their knees and then stand up this student will get the weakness uh, at, after birth then the first six years they struggle with, with with sitting standing the normal activities then after six years they they become rigid the tendons become thin they are not able to move and therefore they become crippled and they, they require a wheelchair or some other ways of being carried around after the 11 years then they are nearly always uh, in a wheelchair or bedridden they can't move around and thereafter all the other muscles are affected you know the heart has muscles and the other organs have smooth muscles so this child now will have complications of other organs my husband and gone with my son to kikuyu hospital kijabe they were given some medication he was given some medication those doctors not knowing what it was until sasa tukaenda kenya the hospital that's when hell broke loose nilipompeleka hospitali walimu nikawaambia akawaelezea mtoto wako slow hard anapatiwa nini kuadika anaadika vizuri anaambia mtoto wako ni vile tu atakuwa atakuwa sahana shida yote maana kuna mahali panamuuma we took the boy in, at Bagath hospital tukakuta there was a, there was a certain lady tulikuta hapo na yeye alituambia maybe ni mtoto mmeweka kwa nyumba sana 
vile nyumba za lobby hakunanga space ya watoto kucheza nje akatuambia tununulie mtoto bike hata nafikiria maybe the, the legs they have weekend sababu mtoto hachezi anashinda kwa nyumba throughout lakini akamwambia ya mwambia afanye some exercise ku bed na kuamka hapo mtoto akashindwa siku kwa 2012 nikapeka Kenyatta hospital kampimia damu atambia ni calcium mana ya kutosha if an affected father and a mother who is a carrier meet, there is a 50% chance that they will get sons. Out of this, there is a 50% chance that one of the sons will be affected by the disorder. Based on this, then, uh, one would be advised either not to give birth or adopt babies you know, from other families. That would be it. Or be prepared that if it's a boy, then they'll have they'll, they'll face the, the the disease as it is. It's an ethical dilemma because if they conceive and they have a boy and they know the boy will have a disease, what do they do with the pregnancy? Mama Mugina can yelezea kule center kule dagurit kuna therapy about who are iripishwi. Nili pop mpere kapale how do waliweza sakunyelezea vizuri. Upale center di walinyelezea vizuri, wakaniabia hii condition, haina tiba, wakaniabia ni kila ina, atakuwa kifanya ni therapy tupeke yake. Na hii therapy siya kumusaidia atebe ama apone, ni ya kuweza kuprorongu wakatuwa kwa kukalia wheelchair. We went to Lancet for the test. Because I remember the doctor saying, he's suspecting something which is not very nice. So we got shocked with my husband until we went for the test. We brought back the tests. But I remember even before we went back to Kenyatta to drop the test, Lancet, Lancet Center uh, pathologists, the ones who da, do the test, they called us, they, they called us and we were asking what is the emergency. They really called us with my husband, you know, Lizana Kwani, what is the emergency? Kumbe, these tests were so high than the normal range. Until now, it prompted them to look for us, like immediately, to go back to the doctor. When we went back to the doctor, he confirmed his fears. He told us this is a um, Duchenne muscular dystrophy. It's a rare thing. It affects like a few, one boy out of 5,000 or 3,000 or something like that. It was very shocking. It was very, very shocking. I was so discouraged. Zani Leona, Asifa he will die the next minute. Nikam hakuna hana maisha ya kuishi. Nonjua walituelezea direct. So mi kutoka hapo mi kichwa ilianza kuniuma. Nikakuwa sina nguvu. Usiku yote usiku yote nikalala nikilia. Eh hapo dio sasa mambo ni usiku siku rara. Nilitara nikilia. Ninapoangalia mtoto saa hii anatebea. Nimeabiwa hakuna jabu ligine lorote, hakuna uponyaji, hakuna nililia usiku kucha. Hapo, situ dijipe nguvu do. It's a genetic disease, so it needs genetic diagnosis. So we don't have, <clears throat> we don't have the capacity to do genetic tests in the country at the moment. There is not a single lab that can do our genetic testing in the country today. So, and that means we said even where we do, we send them out of the country. We send them to South Africa or India or, or European countries or the other, or other nations that have good genetic laboratories. That's one. Then two, we don't have, a, we don't have um, well established a genetic specialist in the country. That means we don't have a, a specialist who would send these patients to. Kumarizika ni shinda, lakini hiyo ni, ikiwa ni hii mazoezi ya manda wazira likuwa napewa kidogo kidogo, ni za kufanya ye uo wakati wa kusintu wakabiza, uweende mbele kidogo, asi wakasindike kwa alaka. Tumepitia hospitali mingi, mingi sana sana, mara tunambiwa antapona. So vile tuliambiwa napona naona shida inaongezea tu. We don't have good um, preparations in our training to prepare doctors or nurses or health workers to handle such conditions. So you find this student being thrown from one facility to another one. Many of them are, are sent to Kenyatta. In pregnancy, there may be nothing. The, the children will be growing normally. After birth, 
then there will be delayed milestones. The next support will be delayed, the sitting will be delayed, the standing will be delayed, and walking. Typically, the children with, with additions, muscular dystrophy, they delay walking up to 18 months. So this child who is not able to walk up to 18 months is likely to be having a problem. That's one and a half years. Uh, then they also have a problem in studying. Instead of the way a normal child stands upright, this child will be climbing on their knees. They, they need to go down on the floor, then uh, put a hand on their knees for them to stand. It's an odd way of standing. When they start walking, they walk with a waddling gait. You know, they stagger around like they're dancing. And that's so an abnormal gait. Then they are also unable to walk because the, this disease affects the, the muscles that are close to the, to the spine, the shoulders, the hip, the thigh, and the arm muscles. So that when they are walking, they are not able to walk up the stairs well. Even when they are running, they are not able to run well, normally like, like other children. So looking at them physically, the calf muscles, they are, they are thick, they are swollen. The, the joint areas become fixed. You know, they get contractions. So they're not able to do the normal things that other children are able to do, like stre uh, stretching their hands, stretching their legs. So they have that. Their backs can also become curved, they, they cause choreosis. I could not imagine our son, we cherished, we love him so much, having to go through this, these uh, whatever issues. And I remember I was going to Google. I went to Dr. Google to seek to get some more information. And it was the worst of all because Google has it in black and white. And you remember like uh, eight years, seven years ago, there were no medication which were anywhere. The stem cells were no longer there, there was nothing. So it really hit us so much. Until now, the doctor told us we have to do physiotherapy for him, but there is no, conf there is no cure for this thing. I used to ask myself so many questions. Why me? Kwa nini mugu wa meskipa wa wengine wote? Akaleta kongo. Na nikilia utoe. So unaona, lakini... Tumekuwa tukiongeleshwa na watu wengi sana na hiyo inanipea moral na mtisha ku, ku move on. Nilikuwa nimepanga familia wa watoto waine. Nikapata vijana wawiri na wachichana wawiri. Sasa nikakomea hapo. Nikaona hao hiyo family nitajua nitamitunzia sawa sawa. Lakini wakati huyo alisikwa na hii shinda niliona kuna kitu kimetoka ndani yangu. Kwa vile nilikuwa nimepanga maisha yangu hata sasa Natabika vira sikuwa ni gitarajia. First alisomea hii ya kawaida. Mm. Until alipofika miaka 10 years. Mm. After 10 years njia karimewa sasa na kutembea. Ya kapeo hulichia. Takaka nyumbani 2 years. Mm. Bida kuna shule. Kutukuta na mshugulikia mambo ya special school. Tukatafuta kila maali vika. Hii joy town. Lakini badaya tuka, tukafanikiwa hapa karibu na nyumbani. Hata shule enyewe yako, sababu wakuna mtoto mwingine yako na that kind of disease. Hata wenye watoto wanyasoma na wawo, wamemuelewa, wamejua shida zake, so they do take care of, of him. He has met other kids with it. He has met some white kids. We, you know, wazungu with this kind of a problem. I may meet some, Ita some Indians with a problem. I can't realize kumbe hayuko peke yake. And also Kenyans, yeah? A few Kenyans that we've, we, we normally meet during our events. And it, it, made, him, uh, it made his life easier. My father-in-law, he is the one who will normally take him in the morning to the school. In the afternoon, he, ca he normally came and pick him up like that. When my father-in-law is not around, that's the work of my sister. I still spoke about it because I remember doing some fundraisings to go to India. Our immediate church knew about it because they saw him, uh, you know, walk. They saw him go down and some neighbors there around in Utawala. So the church they needed was so concerned about my son and uh, I was able to talk to many of them, the priests, the members of the church, the community around us, because they came for a fundraising to India. So I spoke, I can say I spoke about it after like a year. Ata kale mwenye siku mwelezea. Na, na siku mwelezea, iyo ya kukuja kukalia huyu siku muabia. Niliyadelea tu niki, wapale senta di waliniambia, linazima niwe strong. Mana, nisipokuwa strong, sita saidia kareb. Tulikaa tu, 
mpaka wakatua sasa kalbu guvu ziliada zikiisha likiisha na alikuwa ananiambia mamu mimi sitakalia huichia yani okay ni, 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 ni akiniambia tu hivi namwambia eh huta unajua Mungu anaweza tu kusaidia tu yani nikijua ile report ambayo iko ndani yangu na sitaki kumuelezea nikimwangalia hivi nasikia hata mimi mwenyewe nasikia kulia tukitembea naye tao na anakiona wa, wale wa wako kwa wilchia wanaoba pesa na ni mam unajua mimi sita hiyo baoba nikamwambia sio lazima uobe utasoma na utapata kazi yako na utakuwa kujifanyia kazi yako we mwenyewe na irieda tu hivyo akiwa na 11 years dio alikuja sasa akaelemewa kabisa As time went by, we learned about this new technology of treating chronic diseases. So stem cells, they use the child cells, they have the cells from the, the, from the child, and then they, they do some boosting of the cells in the lab. The stem cells are injected into the weak areas. With good selection, there are many conditions that can benefit from stem cell, including some of those conditions that we, we, we had no hope early on. It's not like it's a, it's a, cure, a permanent cure, but it, it slows down the progression of the disease. One of the children in our group, the parents takes this boy every six months, every six months. And amongst the whole group, he's not like 11 and a half years, he's the strongest guy in the group. So it gives me a lot of encouragement for us to take our son. We used to take him until two years, we were unable to take him because of finances, so we started again last year. Nilipokuwa ninacheza na marafiki zangu, nilikuwa ninaanguka mara mingi. Even before he got sick, he's, he, he's always been a cool guy, he's been a cool boy. Yeah, he's, um, he's calm. Yeah, so it has given me a lot of motivation from his personality. Vile nilikuwa ninaanguka, alikuwa nanishughulikia kunipanga vidonda our son was very positive about the whole journey because as a family we were there for him supporting him we, we give him all the love that he needs so he doesn't feel like the gap to think about something so he knows he has muscular dystrophy and uh, one time he'll get well sipati changamoto lolote kwa sababu niko na rafiki wengi ambao wananijali na wananishughulikia vyema na walimu wananielewa kwa vile nilivyo we talk about duchenne muscular dystrophy what the research how far the research is what is happening in the world unajua kama vile nilielezea watu wetu unajua wako na wajui hii ugonjwa so wanasema maana ni kurogwa mpaka sasa imefika pahali hata sivi sasa mm. kuna watu im, im, okay, kama baba yake mm. ilifika pahali nini sasa ameniachia watoto hao wote na what ah wengine wote wako shule niko na huyu na nilikuwa na mama yake mkongwe wa, wa 90 years nilikuwa ninatunza pia yeye ni wa kuoshwa na niko peke yangu huwezi toka huyu hu, mama anatoroka huyu ni mtoto uko naye hapa uko na watoto wengine shule sasa hata kufanya kazi inakuwa ni vigumu sana kutafuta kibarua ni vigumu ukitoka unafikiria kuna mama kuna huyu mtoto ha, si, si rahisi mpaka sasa kuna watu mahali huwa wanaoba nitoke ni huko maana nimeroga mtoto sasa ni kwa moyo wangu ninajiuliza nawezaje roga huyu mtoto na huyu mtoto unambeba kuna sasa zingine ukimtoa shule unambeba na reso maana watu wa eh, watu wa gari okay watu wa matatu wakiona wheelchair hawabebi sasa inabidi uende shule ndio uende na shuka mtoto ni wa hiyo miaka unambeba na shuka ukimpeleka nyumbani this group of us that we formed our foundation it's helping such parents to come out and talk about something during our forums we meet some some people you find you in a meeting but they are not talking they are looking at you but they are not talking so we understand there's something there's something which could be eating them up the moment we encourage them to talk, to talk then they broke they break in tears akiwa mtoto ni wako na hata huyo mama ni wako kazi ya mtoto wa mwanaume uweje pia mama yake kwa sababu mama yake mahitaji yale 
yeye anataka ama service ile huyu kijana anataka afafanywe atafanywa na mama yake kama vile ikiwa ni mchichana mama kwale ni yeye anazua vile anaweza kumtunza lakini si kijana upatie mama hata ukiwa na mna gani hiyo haiwezekani eh mmoja kuna mtoto kama wangu aje in college tu na tutamake hiyo ingine yote tuachie Mungu sababu yeye ndiye kona final word naza mwambia tu wa and the castle in Kwanza hapo ndio anaweza pata nguvu ya nini ya kupata hiyo mtoto nguvu ningependa kuambia wasi wasione haya kujitokeza mbele ya watu na wajue Mungu wako na atawasaidia parents out there we are here to encourage you uh, i really want to reach out to or the foundation want to reach out to the parents in Kenya for a beginning and uh, to give you emotional support you must encourage yourself first of all before somebody comes to encourage you you must learn to come out of the situation yourself in a very positive manner na hakuna haja useme mtoto wa merogwa usini mi huwa kuna kitu moja huwa ninasema usiniambie ni nini imefanyika na mtoto wangu niambie tutafanya nini kuanzia hapo iwapo hauna suruhisho niambie kuna kitu moja nilifundisha mtoto wangu asiwe akijihurumia hata shule huwa anabwa asijihurumie huwa nina kinini huwa tunafika tu kwa stage na nini conductor akisimamisha gari si awe tu wengine wanaingia anaona anapiga gari anaenda ananiambia mam amejifanya hata atuoni nawaambia wacha hiyo ile kuna ingi ile itakuja yetu e, itakuja yetu. na tunagoja tunagoja hata kama tutacherewa kuna yule driver atakuja ama conductor atakuja utaona ako na huruma unaona hata anakuja anachukua yule chia anaingiza kwa, kwa gari kuna wale wanaelewa na kuna wale waelewi mm. sawa so, wanaelewa ndio wanaambia what in it doesn't affect the brain yeah my son is very okay he's good in school is is bright it's only the physical the physical aspect akafanya class 8 no class 7 and standard 8 akatamba akapata max 200 sasa nikaona hii point 200 iwezi kampeleka secondary school kwa sababu mimi nilikuwa nampenda sasa nikaona kazi ile mzuri kutoka hapo ni mpeleke polytechnic ili atafute vile anaweza saindika kwa maisha yake nikampeleka nkubu polytechnic ningetaka kuambia hata walimu ukiona shida yoyote mtoto wako na shida yote usichape huyu mtoto maana ninajua mtoto wangu alipitia kwa hiyo shule mtoto wali, alikuwa anachapwa hivyo kama kugelikuwa na, na mwalimu wa special at least anaweza kujua huyu mtoto wako na shida maana jambo la kwanza hii ugojwa mtoto haumwi hakuna mahali utasikia hata sijaisikia mtoto wake niambia ninaumwa haiumwi huyu mtoto hawezi enda mahali popote nini maana unaona aki squat hawezi simama tena kwa hivyo anahitaji atengenezewa cho nzuri mahali ambapo atakuwa akijisaidia kulingana na disability kama kule kule mahali anasomea eh wametengenezewa kulingana na ile disability wako nayo kama mahali ile yeye huwa anaenda anaweza kujipeleka na, na hiyo wheelchair na anasimamisha hapo na anaweza ku crawl mpaka anafika mahali shimo iko kama kuna kunaweza kuwa na kitengo fulani ambao tutakuwa tukisema huu mtoto huu hawezi kabisa wheelchair apate hiyo itakuwa imesaidia sana ama kuna kuna mahali ambapo kale bali pita kuna wakati alikuwa anahitaji kijiti unajua inafika pahali mtoto miguu haina nguvu hajafikia kukalia huichia anahitaji kijiti ya kumsupport sasa inabidi anatafuta tu mti tu yeyote tu ana, ya kujisupport na, na kuna ile kijiti ambao anafaa kuwa nayo ya kumsaidia juu hiyo mti ya kawaida akiweka aki chini inatereza anaaguka lakini kuna ile special ikiwekwa chini na jishikilia chini vizuri kuna time nilienda kujaribu kutafuta basari yake kidika tano nilikuwa nimeambiwa niende na 70000 na kwangu ilikuwa ngumu kupata sana kujaribu kutafuta wakubwa wangu watu wakilisha jamaa mmoja kaniambia basari inapewa watoto wa kawaida lakini si disabled 